A National Hero, Introducing Dr. Abdul Qadir Khan Dr. Abdul Qadir Khan, widely known as A.Q. Khan, is a name etched into the soul of Pakistan. He is revered as the father of the country's nuclear program. His work transformed Pakistan into a nuclear power, forever altering the balance of power in South Asia. Khan's story is one of immense ambition, scientific brilliance and deeply controversial actions that continue to reverberate on the world stage. Khan's journey began far from the laboratories and research facilities that would come to define his life. He was born in 1936 in Bhopal, India, into a world teetering on the brink of change. His life and career would mirror the tumultuous times he lived in. Khan's contributions to Pakistan's nuclear program were nothing short of extraordinary. He spearheaded the country's quest for nuclear weapons, a quest driven by a deep-seated fear of its neighbor, India. Khan's work ensured Pakistan's security, but it also ignited a firestorm of controversy. This essay will delve into the life and legacy of Dr. Abdul Qadir Khan, exploring his remarkable achievements and the thorny issues they raised. Abdul Qadir Khan's early life was shaped by the upheaval of partition. In 1952, he and his family migrated from Bhopal, India to the newly formed nation of Pakistan. This experience instilled in him a profound sense of patriotism and a desire to contribute to his adopted homeland. Khan pursued higher education in metallurgy, earning a bachelor's degree from the University of Karachi in 1960. He then traveled to Europe, where he received a master's degree from Delft University of Technology in the Netherlands in 1967. He completed his academic journey with a doctorate in metallurgical engineering from the Catholic University of Louvain in Belgium in 1972. Khan's European education exposed him to cutting-edge technology and research, particularly in the field of uranium enrichment. This knowledge would prove pivotal in his later work on Pakistan's nuclear program. He gained valuable experience working at a Dutch company involved in uranium enrichment. However, Khan's time in Europe was not without its challenges. He faced discrimination as a foreigner and a Muslim, experiences that fueled his determination to see Pakistan become a technologically advanced nation. Upon returning to Pakistan, Khan was determined to use his knowledge to bolster his nation's security. Little did he know that he was about to embark on a path that would change the course of history. In 1974, India conducted its first nuclear test, sending shockwaves through Pakistan. This event, codenamed Smiling Buddha, shattered the balance of power in South Asia and ignited a nuclear arms race in the region. Pakistan, fearing for its security, resolved to develop its own nuclear deterrent. A.Q. Khan, with his expertise in uranium enrichment, quickly emerged as a key figure in Pakistan's nascent nuclear program. He understood that enriching uranium to weapons-grade levels was critical for Pakistan to achieve nuclear parity with India. Khan proposed a bold and ambitious plan to Prime Minister Zulfikar Ali Bhutto to develop Pakistan's own uranium enrichment capability using gas centrifuge technology. This method, though complex and technically challenging, offered Pakistan a clandestine path to acquiring nuclear weapons. Bhutto, recognizing the gravity of the situation and Khan's expertise, gave his full support to the project. Khan's vision and determination had set Pakistan on the path to becoming a nuclear power. However, the road ahead would be fraught with challenges, secrecy, and international condemnation. In 1976, under Khan's leadership, Pakistan established the Engineering Research Laboratory, later renamed Kahuta Research Laboratories. Located near Islamabad, Kahuta became the epicenter of Pakistan's nuclear ambitions. Here, Khan assembled a team of brilliant scientists and engineers, working tirelessly in secrecy to master the complex technology of uranium enrichment. Khan's leadership at Kahuta was instrumental in overcoming numerous technical and logistical hurdles. He instilled a sense of national purpose and urgency in his team, driving them to achieve what many considered impossible. Under his guidance, KRL designed, built, and operated gas centrifuges, the machines that would spin Pakistan's path to nuclear weapons. Khan's work at Kahuta did not go unnoticed. International intelligence agencies, particularly those of the United States, became increasingly aware of Pakistan's clandestine nuclear activities. Despite facing pressure and scrutiny, 
Khan and his team pressed on, their resolve unwavering. Their efforts culminated in May 1998, when Pakistan conducted its first nuclear tests in response to India's own test just days earlier. The world watched in awe and apprehension as Pakistan, under Khan's leadership, declared itself a nuclear power. Section 5. The Price of Proliferation, A Hero's Fall from Grace A.Q. Khan's success in making Pakistan a nuclear power cemented his status as a national hero. He was hailed as the Mohsin-e-Pakistan, Savior of Pakistan, his name synonymous with national pride and scientific achievement. However, Khan's legacy is also intertwined with controversy, stemming from his involvement in nuclear proliferation. In the early 2000s, evidence emerged that Khan had been operating a clandestine network that supplied nuclear technology and information to countries like Iran, Libya, and North Korea. These revelations sent shockwaves through the international community, painting Khan as a rogue scientist who had betrayed the trust placed in him. In 2004, under intense international pressure, Khan appeared on Pakistani television and confessed to his role in nuclear proliferation. His confession, though later retracted, tarnished his image and plunged Pakistan into a diplomatic crisis. Khan was placed under house arrest, his movements restricted, his legacy forever stained. The Khan network's activities had serious implications for global security, raising fears of nuclear terrorism and a new wave of proliferation. Khan's actions ignited a debate about the morality of nuclear weapons and the responsibility of scientists in a world grappling with the existential threat of nuclear war. Section 6. A Legacy Forged in Science and Controversy A.Q. Khan's legacy is a complex tapestry woven from threads of scientific brilliance, national heroism, and international condemnation. He is both revered and reviled, his contributions to Pakistan's security forever entangled with the consequences of his proliferation activities. Within Pakistan, Khan remains a towering figure, his role in developing the country's nuclear deterrent, ensuring his place in the pantheon of national heroes. He is credited with not only bolstering Pakistan's security but also elevating its international standing. His achievements continue to inspire generations of Pakistani scientists and engineers. However, on the global stage, Khan is often viewed through the prism of his proliferation activities. His actions raised serious concerns about the security of nuclear technology and materials, leading to calls for greater international cooperation to prevent future instances of nuclear smuggling. Khan's legacy serves as a stark reminder of the double-edged sword of scientific advancement. While his work undoubtedly benefited Pakistan, it also highlighted the potential for scientific knowledge to be misused with potentially catastrophic consequences. Section 7. The World Watches. Khan's Proliferation and Global Security. AQ Khan's nuclear smuggling network had a profound impact on global security. His actions demonstrated the vulnerability of international non-proliferation efforts and the ease with which sensitive nuclear technology could be trafficked across borders. Khan's network was sophisticated and well-connected, exploiting loopholes in export controls and using front companies to procure sensitive materials. His activities exposed the limitations of traditional non-proliferation regimes, which often struggled to keep pace with the rapidly evolving black market for nuclear technology. Khan's proliferation activities had immediate consequences for the countries he supplied. Iran's nuclear program, which had been significantly aided by Khan's network, became a source of international tension and led to crippling sanctions. North Korea's nuclear ambitions, fueled in part by Khan's technology, posed a direct threat to regional and global security. Khan's actions underscored the need for a more robust and coordinated international response to nuclear proliferation. The international community responded with a series of measures including stricter export controls, enhanced intelligence sharing, and the creation of new institutions like the Proliferation Security Initiative to interdict the trafficking of nuclear materials. Section 8. A Nation Remembers, Khan's Enduring Legacy in Pakistan. Despite the controversy surrounding his later years, A.Q. Khan remains a revered figure in Pakistan. His death in 2021 at the age of 85 was met with national mourning with thousands attending his funeral to pay their respects to the man who had secured their nation's place at the nuclear table. Khan's legacy continues to loom large in Pakistan. He is remembered as the embodiment of national resilience, a symbol of Pakistan's ability to overcome seemingly insurmountable odds. His story is taught in schools, his name adorns streets and institutions, 
his image emblazoned on billboards and postage stamps. The Pakistani government has consistently defended Khan's actions, arguing that he acted in the best interests of national security. While acknowledging his proliferation activities, many Pakistanis view Khan as a scapegoat sacrificed to appease international pressure. Khan's enduring popularity in Pakistan highlights the complex relationship between national security and international norms. It underscores the challenges of reconciling national interests with global security concerns in a world where the pursuit of nuclear weapons remains a potent symbol of power and prestige. Section 9. A Complex Legacy, Balancing National Heroism and Global Responsibility A.Q. Khan's life and work present a profound dilemma. How to reconcile the actions of a man who contributed so significantly to his nation's security with the global threat posed by his proliferation activities. Khan's legacy is a stark reminder that even the most well-intentioned individuals can make choices with far-reaching and unintended consequences. Khan's story compels us to grapple with the ethical dimensions of scientific advancement. It highlights the responsibility of scientists to consider the potential ramifications of their work, particularly in fields with such profound implications for human security. Khan's actions serve as a cautionary tale, reminding us that scientific progress without ethical considerations can have devastating consequences. Ultimately, A.Q. Khan's legacy is a complex one, marked by both triumph and tragedy. He was a brilliant scientist who played a pivotal role in shaping the geopolitical landscape of South Asia. However, his actions also demonstrated the fragility of international peace and security in a world where the pursuit of nuclear weapons continues to cast a long shadow. As we navigate the challenges of the 21st century, Khan's story serves as a stark reminder of the enduring power of the atom and the importance of responsible stewardship of scientific knowledge. It is a story that continues to resonate, challenging us to find a path towards a safer and more secure world. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more content.